Welcome back to another review. And today, again, I'm in the other room because I can't do all the mocap stuff in the tiny closet. Part two, I'm gonna walk you through the setup. So you got the suit, what are you gonna do? You gotta power it up. What you're gonna download for software. How do you go about the first steps when you got the suit? That's what I'm here for today. And once again, this is a sponsored review because Rococo gave me the suit for testing purposes. Thank you so much. And speaking of which, they also provided the discount code. Now they're changing and they're adding more options for discount codes. So I'm not sure yet when that will go live. I will, I'm checking my clock. It's Sunday today. I'm gonna to post this probably on Wednesdays. My reviews are on Wednesdays. So I probably put it in the pinned comment and in the description. So just check back if it's not ready by Wednesday. And a couple of days later, whenever it's ready, I'll post it. You get the discount code if you want to purchase that suit as well. And that is that. So as I said, let's go through the initial setup for your suit. Let me get the suit. And in previous clip, I talked about that back zipper that just in case you forget, because I'm sure I will forget to open this up and take out the headband. If you're already suited up and you can't reach it because it has just this smaller zipper. I added this here so I can just pull it down and take the heck gear out. Let's test it out, see if this works. Ta-da, suit is on. <laughs> a bit of cheat. So I got the suit, let's go. Well, not really, you can't just go. You gotta download the software and connect the suit to the computer to set the whole thing up. So Anchor provided cable here, USB. So now let me walk you through the website, how to do this. So you're on the Rococo website here. Go to Studio and just click Download Now. I am on a Windows machine, so download. That's it, open it up. Yes, I accept the agreement, install, shortcut, why not? Add an exception to the Windows firewall. This will be important later on. Next install. All right, let's launch this. I'm going to minimize the software so it fits ooh, into this window. If you're there for the first time, you got to sign up. Then you got to set up where you're based. This is because of the magnetic interferences and all the whole setup of the inertia based sensors. It has to know where you are. So don't skip this part. I'm going to put that in and it shows you the quick start guides. As you can see here, motion library intro and smart suit pro example files and all guides and tutorials. There's a great YouTube channel with all tutorials and there's a website, I'll link that in the description, where you can search for all kinds of topics if you are there for the first time, just like me, starting this whole process fresh. Let's close that. And this is where you're at. And again, you can go back here. If you click on this, you have about studio, quit studio, and also settings. And in case you got to change your location again, it's all in here and you can also search. All the information is here for your settings. Now, it still doesn't know that I have a suit, so let's grab the cable that was given to you. It's nice and long. Let's plug in the suit into the computer. And in order to connect it, you go to the back. I'll show you a close up. There's the hub. It's a nice, easy zipper to open it up. And then you connect that to the hub and then the USB C to the computer. So to show you this, the back of the suit uh, is actually back here. You got a zipper. It's all very dark. I mean, you can see it. You open this up and ta da! That is the hub. And in here, you can see the USB-C connection, plug that in and this into the computer. As you can see, it says connecting smart suit. A smart suit has been connected to the computer. Click here to set it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click here. Wi-Fi setup, connected devices, U41 is mine. Apply new settings. So you wanna set this all up. So apply the settings. You got different lights. It's kind of blown out, but it's a green light. You'll have different lights, red and green, depending on if it's working or not with your power button here. And you can see I get a green check mark for that. I actually connected to my 5G Wi-Fi network. You can also do 2.4. You can set up whatever you want to do. I'm going to try that because I have many other devices on the other frequency. So this should probably be one that's less busy and you know less frequency interruptions or whatever it is like nerd. I don't know. Now that it's ready, I can unplug it. But it has, of course, no power since I unplugged it. So that's where this comes in. Handy little anchor battery. I put the link in the description with that. It's nice and light. You can plug it into the front. I'll show you. That's where this cable in front. There's also one in the back. This front and back. The front one, little pockets, has more room. So you have a bigger battery. You can put that in there. And in the description, you'll see a movie link that explains which kind of battery to use and all the recommendations. All that info will be in there. All right, everything is on. Battery's plugged in. Let's go see. Ooh, poor data detected. I see. Here you can see what is going on. I got lots of yellows. <laughs> And it's the suit. Also, don't forget, my headband is not there. So now I can use this here. Take this. Ah, it works. Open that up. And there you go. Headband. But as you can see, there is a lot of yellow. Okay, I'm gonna add objects. And that is me. So 
So as you can see, when I hit the calibrations, I'm gonna do this again here. So you can calibrate the pose, stay straight, stand still, and that's your calibration right there. So now it's better. Legs up, but it's not great. Why? Because again, if you look at the bottom here, all my sensors are yellow. I can step back and it gets better. But the moment I get closer to the computer, you can see pretty much everything turns into yellow. I have so much equipment around here that's gonna cause crazy interference. So that's good to see. But I'm gonna also try is to put all of this onto my laptop and then go somewhere else where it's much cleaner, less interference and see how that performs. So as you can see, all the sensors were yellow. It was a bit finicky because of my stuff that I have here. So what I did was I installed Studio onto my laptop. It's a bit of an older laptop, still worked. Grabbed my suit, went downstairs for a quick setup and then upstairs for another test. I did a screen grab of the screen, but it was full screen. It's an old laptop. So as you can see, the movement is not super fluid. That is not what the recording is like. I did another version where I filmed the laptop screen so you can see the speed. So what I'm showing you right now is not the real you know, fluid speed that you get when you record something. It's a bit misleading, but I want to show you what I noticed when I was recording something downstairs. And I kind of skipped the step here. There was this here that was down here. You just drag this and drop it onto your setup file, your profile, your fit file. And then you get something like this where it's, where it's parented basically underneath. It's, it's a hierarchy like that. And that way, whatever suit you have, it understands your height and it can readjust the sensors. But what I was noticing downstairs is that all of this, the filters were just white. There was no yellow, there was no green, but it's still recorded. So this is what I had. And then once it's a long scene, so I'm gonna just go forward. It's all mangled. And once you do your actual setup, this is me putting the suit on, you stand still and you put, it says a foot apart. I had interesting results in terms of putting the feet close together, further apart, pointing in and out that was affecting how the the legs were if they were straight or not the top part was flawless but downstairs i noted noticed has nothing to do if it's downstairs or upstairs but as i was doing my test downstairs quickly on a slippery floor that's what i noticed so once you have that and you're ready that's what you get and you can see it's very choppy also what i did was this was i'm readjusting my straps here this was on my 2.4 gigahertz it was not on the 5g network this was the busier Wi-Fi network. I wanted to test it to see what's happening here. Again, it's not super fluid. That is not the real representation, but it was fairly laggy and weird because of the busy network. And you can see here when I walk, how when I just get out, how the legs are close together. That's not, I was standing like this. That really all depends on how you're standing straight and how the, the initial recording is. And you can see how this feels just a bit off balance in terms of how the legs are. That is, as I can see later, that was my fault. This really depends on how you record when you stand still. So again, I did different versions, different tests. I changed the Wi-Fi setup to a non-busier setup and it was much, much better. So again, this is me on the laptop changing things with a new calibration ready and then it records. It's already much better. I guess these are what my legs are, but that is already a much better fit. So A, the recording was much, much better. And I did different versions of how my legs are. Again, this is where my laptop is walking around and just testing things. I was pulling on the sensors. There's all kinds of stuff in terms of the fitting that I wanted to see what is going on, but it still tracks fairly well. I was testing also stairs. I have stairs right next to me. So after another fitting again, I'm, I'm trying all kinds of things in terms of what the legs are doing. This is also with the camera following you and not as a standstill. So this is, this is just a weird camera thing. But I was testing out, if I go up, that's fairly straight. That's what my leg was doing. Every now and then when I was not standing in the right position, my leg was more bent, even though my leg was straight. So I think the biggest thing to me is leg calibration in terms of what's going on. Again, this is a camera follow. That is an option that you can enable. But you know, for capturing purposes, I don't think that was very clear of what I was doing. So I just turned it off again. You have so many settings that you can put in. This is all without any filters. This is just straight up. I just have the suit and I'm trying things out. So as you can see here, this again, this is me a difference. I'm jumping around the recording, but you can see how I was moving my leg out and it was just fine. And then after a while it does this because it is inertia based and I stopped moving my leg. I'm assuming this is why this happens, but you see a little bit of slippage, but it's fairly solid in terms of what the feet are doing. You can do all kinds of movement tests. And again, I think the upper part works really well. 
and it's a a slippery <laughs> testing out the hips a uh, slippery floor is a hardwood floor downstairs so at this point my laptop is here so like the, the the recording position changes so when you sit down and slide around again since it's inertia based and you stop moving there might be some funkiness this is me sliding around in place but it started to move around you can see here i'm suddenly moving off not super sure if that's the tracking or if that's just the camera, if that's an overall drift or if that's the camera that does something. Because once I was sitting down here and go forward, again, this is with the camera tracking here. So you have to look at, are you tracking the camera? Is that an overall drift? Or is this something that happens because of a camera position or something? You can see how suddenly the world is moving. So after all of this, I thought, all right, all right, hold on. This is really cobbled together. I don't know why the sensors are not there. Let's go upstairs and try with a different setup. So next up, I brought this up into my office here, but I went this way away from this whole setup onto the laptop again and the 5G network just to see what's the difference. And right off the bat, much better. Everything's green except the hands. That's okay because the hands are right where the laptop is. So that's where you would have interference. This makes totally sense. So when I play this through, it's a bit on the longer side, but I want to play this and narrate kind of what, what you're seeing, what I'm seeing, to explain to you what's going on. So this is me wearing the suit and putting in all kinds of adjustments and laptop and moving things around. I was checking things. This has nothing to do with, uh, you know, the proper fitting. Again, it's because I didn't do anything in terms of um, the ready pose, the T pose, but with your arms down. So if you wear something, if you get it on the suit, this is what you get. Don't be freaked out, but that's not what it is. So you click on the top, the top left here, perform calibration pose. You stand in the right position, stand still, and then ready, boom. Look at that, there's no pop in the legs. I'm checking the laptop, clicking things here. And again, if I go and if I go back, you see this hand is where the laptop is. You can see this is what happens here where this turns yellow. Every now and then other sensors turn yellow depending on this, what you're doing. But I'm putting in again, the hand over there and you can see how this affects the sensor. So once you have that, you can see me Obviously moving back, arm test, and this is me now going around all kinds of things in the apartment. Now you can see here how I move those arms. And again, in the screen capture process, it might not be fast enough, <laughs> so silly. But as you can see, I was blending in uh, my, uh, my phone camera, recording the screen so you can see the reflection and what the screen is doing to see how fast I'm moving and what's going on. Some of the jumps are a bit wonky. You can see here how it tracks nicely. And then every now and then it pops back to another position. That is the interesting thing. But again, this is all straight, just wearing the suit and uh, not having any filters. I am now close to my computer, because again, my office, the area is over there, and you can see what happens here. So this is a bit boring to see me off screen, but that's what I was testing. I'm also wearing socks on carpets. So if you're wondering why this every now and then looks soft, that is one of the reasons. There is a bit of a, a deeper going down here than that I had downstairs on the hardwood floor. And that's why I'm mentioning it, because I see a difference here, uh, depending on what I was doing. I'm actually leaving now. This is super boring, so I'm gonna skip this, because I was trying to test things out, but I didn't really record the, the data just yet. So let me go forward, just to see if I exit the room, and I'm really far away, and I come back into the recording space, what would happen so if i go forward you can see everything is still in place there's some wonkiness through here but i also have there is basically there's a door right there there's some elements that will potentially cause interference and jumps so i'm very curious to see once you put on all the filters what happens this is me this is the bathroom door into the bathroom and it's, it's somewhat closed and that's why i'm going through that and again i'm passing through metal and concrete and wood and all kinds of stuff. This is me in the bathroom, still tracking things. I'm opening the shower door, peeking in. There's a lot of metal, especially with the shower and the, and the pipes. That's where you should stay away. And you can see here how it interferes with the sensors. But the tracking is still solid. I have to say, I don't see any crazy freakouts. This is me back in front of the, uh, the laptop, testing things, as you can see, in front and behind moving the legs, squatty tests. You can see a nice little detail in the rotations and the pivots of the feet. Whoa, this is wonky there. You can see here, there's some stuff there. I'm not sure 
what's right next to me, what could cause that. And then you can see how I'm off balance. Interesting to see. That is a handstand. So again, once you stop moving, the inertia-based sensors will probably freak out. That's what you see, what you're seeing here. So upstairs, like going up the stairs and stuff like that is a bit wonky. This is me jumping and then bringing up my knees. You can see how suddenly the legs are crossed and the landing is a bit funky. So I'm gonna keep testing this in terms of how do I have my legs? At what point do they freak out and why? And how can I make them come back? This is me obviously sitting now on the carpet. You can see a little bit of a drift in the legs. But again, this is all without any filters. This is just raw, still fairly solid. Again, there's movement selling and sliding on the ground because my root is not really moving anymore. So I think this is one of the issues with inertia-based stuff. You can see here what is going on when I stop moving the root. It might freak out because it doesn't sense any more movement. Now I'm fairly off screen and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna screw up forward here where I readjusted my camera focus. You can see this here, you can adjust this. And then I clicked it off again because I don't want the camera to follow me. But you can see here how it's still fairly solid. I still have a lean back and I'm wondering now, is this how I'm walking? Or again, is this something when you stand and then you're, you're fitting, how the legs are? So I'm sitting now on the couch. No drift there though, that's pretty cool. This is me moving the pillows. Aha, uh -huh. there you got a drift because I'm not moving. Armrest pointing towards my computer. You can see this is a bit wonkier now. I think the moment you stand still and there's really no movement, even though I'm you know sitting and moving around, it gets a bit freaked out. But then when you get back to it, it's pretty good. Every now and then some wonkiness in the feet and the legs. But again, bear in mind, this is me trying this fairly much for the first time. This is a first run through. No filters, no extra setup. This is just me. I'm putting on the suit. The, the Wi-Fi is good. Uh, the, well, all the sensors were pretty much green, as you, as you saw at the beginning. Trying things out. Again, I'm stepping onto the couch and the armrest. And whenever you go up in height, it doesn't quite understand that. I'm gonna research. Maybe there's something where you can compensate for this. I don't know yet. This is not a critique as in, I did the craziest test with all the filters on and all the fixes and it fails. This is just what you get out of the box when I try something without anything else. Just in case you're wondering what is going on here. This is me on the chair. I'm swiveling around with the chair. I'm actually surprised how well that worked. So this is me, I'm at the, um, very close to the computer. So you can see the freak out here in the sensors. Because again, I got subwoofer and speakers and the computer and all kinds of stuff. This is totally normal. Me dragging the chair. There's still some solid footsteps here. And then me getting onto the chair. Again, the height difference causes it to go down. And now I'm holding on to the couch side here and I'm twisting myself around. Especially this here is nice at the end. Stepping down and readjusts. This is me almost falling over. Oh, ridiculous. Going back to the office area, I'm having my eye on these here and you can see here, freak out. This is me sitting at the computer. Not too bad, some freak out, but again, the sensors are just panicking at that point. But again, I don't see you know any crazy pops where the arm goes this way and, and the data exploding. So this is super promising. Back in front of the laptop here, as you can see, clicking on the camera move or the camera options here. Also, this is my hand on my head. This is interesting because the sensor is wrapped around here and the sensor, I mean the strap and the sensor is behind your head. So you can see here, I'm actually having my hand here physically, but it tracked it here. So again, this would be interesting to see if I'm adjust, uh, adjusting the strap what would happen. This is me taking off the strap or the, the headband and now loosening the strap so you can see what happens when you take the suit off. So hips and then thighs and then shin straps. I'm gonna leave the feet on. Unzipping the top part. I'm adjusting, I have a long USB cable for the connection when you set it up. I kept that on, so it's kind of almost like a belt. This is what I was doing there. And I'm starting to move one shoulder down, the other shoulder down, and then pulling, as you can see, the sleeves down. 
and then, ah, ah, what is this? What is this? But I'm holding the suit here. I can still walk and you can still the nice, you can see the nice dangliness on the suit. That's still pretty cool. The only freak out I'm seeing is, uh, or was on the head. This is obviously a bit more tricky as I'm taking down the suits, uh, down one pant leg, I'm keeping one on and I'm walking while holding the rest. Why would you ever record something like this? Uh, I don't know. But again, I'm showing you in terms of kind of a somewhat stress test here. What happens to the sensors when you take that stuff off? At one point, one is, once it's off and I'm lifting it up, I'm putting it on back on the coat hanger, but then it's completely gone. You can see what's happening here. I'm trying to bring it up and I move around. And at one point it says, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Even though I'm walking this way to hang it here. Uh, but again, why would you record anything like this? But I do like when I go back here, the dangliness of the arms. Once you have it down here, this was really nice. You can do some nice, that is really cool in terms of the physics and everything. It's pretty neat. And that is that. Again, there are other options. What I'm gonna do in the, in the uh, future clips is I'm gonna show you the filters. There's a point within the studio software, so not within Maya, where you can lock down the feet. It shows you with your colors what point which foot has pressure on and the weight on. And then you can decide via sliders, do you want to take that off and on? Do you want to use that and, and plant it down more or let it go if the, maybe the foot has to be on it longer and then take the step. Lots of options there and lots of filters. So this is raw, what you get, already very impressive. Again, this is in this office. So if I move this around here, I mean, you know my office at one point, if you watch my stuff here, there's all a bunch of stuff, lights, speakers over there, there's a wall. This is my review office over there. There's a bunch of stuff. So even within this, the interference was, I mean, there's nothing there. It's doing really well. I'm going to go around in the other office, my wife's office that has less stuff there. And I'm going to try out some more things, a different setup downstairs. I want to try in the, in the garage because there's more room there, but it's a concrete floor. And what I've been hearing that is not so good in terms of the, the tracking and the interference, but I'm going to try all that stuff to see. I'm not going to record everything. It'll be boring for you to watch. But I'm going to try it out, write things down. I'll give you a recap. So the future clips will be filtering, how you can improve things within the Rococo studio. And then what you can do once you put this into Maya, there's a live streaming into Maya. There's a ton of stuff that you can try and use. I can't wait to try this all out. So future parts, as always, uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So this will be in the next couple of weeks, sometimes maybe every two weeks, sometimes couple uploads within the same day or within the same week. So I'm not quite sure what the schedule is going to be, but that is the plan. So that's it. Thank you for watching. This is probably more on the longer side here. 12 minutes all coupled together, probably a longer clip, but I want to show you and not mince any words or cut things out where you see that, oh, this is maybe not so good, not show it. This is, even though it's sponsored in terms of they gave me the suit, this is just my sometimes maybe clumsy view of things. But no edits, no cuts. This is what you get. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you what you think, if you've used that suit as well, let me know what your experience was. Maybe you got some tips and tricks for me in terms of moving on and using the filters and all that stuff. And that uh, is that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And I will see you in my next clip.